Hello and welcome to another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. Um, for those of you who are new to this, it's a series that I run that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. And it's just there as like a support group, a coffee meeting, however you want to use it. Especially at the times we're in, I think sometimes we all feel lonely or maybe you just want to chat makeup. So you can all chat in the live chat. I'll be there. So yeah, let's get right on in. I have already primed my face because uh, this donut here started filming and doing the primer and I couldn't get my words out. Just <laughs> not even one whole sentence. So I have scrapped that completely. The primer I used was the Catrice Tensational 10 in 1 Dream Primer. I love it, it is uh, a favorite. So yeah, let's uh, let's forget that bit. So I'm going to go in with foundation. It is a new to me foundation, the Nabla Close Up Futuristic Foundation. I have it in the shade L45 Light. Let's see if I can actually say this this time. It says it is a weightless, soft, focus, perfect complexion. And I know it's medium to buildable or medium buildable. Um, so yeah, let's give this a go. Oh, it's a, a squeezy one. So, let's get in. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to this last week? Oh, this is very yellow. Um, have you been up to anything exciting? Watched a couple of really, really good films this week. And... Uh, well, I say a couple, a few, I can't, my brain is so mushed at the moment with uh, the medications. <laughs> um, so I've watched The Green Mile, which for such a long time I couldn't get past the first part where the, uh, the flies come out of his mouth. It just freaked me out so much I couldn't actually watch the rest of the film. So the other night... We sat down and actually watched it all the way through. And what an amazing film it is. Very long. But really, really great film. Yeah, I'm not not sure on the colour, which is making it hard to judge how it looks. Because at the moment I'm just kind of looking, looking at the colour and thinking, hmm. So it probably does look better on camera than as I'm looking at it. So yeah, if any of you have tried this foundation, let me know what your thoughts were on it. Because uh, I'm really not so sure at the moment. Not too sure. It feels like it's drying down. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take much setting. Okay. So yeah, for concealer, I'm just going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. I love this. According to my hand, this uh, foundation ox oxidises. I don't know why that was so difficult to say. <laughs> I'm really having trouble with my words today, so uh, sorry. So it would appear that I have issues with uh, product placement as well today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Yeah, you know, talking about films, um, the other one that we watched this week that I, I think is just amazing. I wasn't that excited to watch it, if that makes sense. Um, but oh my god, it was amazing. That was Cast Away. I do love Tom Hanks. I think he's an amazing actor. So yeah, I can highly recommend The Green Mile and Cast Away. We watched a really good film last night. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called or even what it was about. <laughs> I know I got to the end of the film and I was like, I really enjoyed that. But <laughs> I couldn't tell you anything now. Wow. Well. Okay, so let's get this blended under the eyes. So have any of you been watching any good films recently? Any recommendations? I do love a good film. My absolute favourite is Con Air. But 
a few others I like are the day after tomorrow. I love that. And we have the whole Harry Potter box set. And uh, if we can't decide on something to watch, we just watch one of them. And not necessarily in order either. We just we just watch them. They're kind of our backup choice always. So yeah, I am a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. So I named my boa Severus Snake. Yeah, I love Severus Snake. I just think he is amazing. He's my favourite character from Harry Potter. Alright, I'm going to use the Nabla Close-Up Baking and Setting Powder. Because obviously it is a Nabla foundation. So I figured let's use that. So I'm only using the tiniest bit just to uh, blend, blend, just to set my under eyes. I have no idea what has gone into me today. <laughs> I can't seem to get my words out at all. Editing this is going to be an absolute nightmare. So for cream contour, I'm just going to be using my Sosu cream contour stick in the shade Cool. I love this. This is a real go-to now. I do also really enjoy the uh, Kiko Milano one, but I don't know. I just feel like this is just that bit better. I'm trying a new brush for putting on the cream contour. It's uh, just a little flat topped one it's the spectrum co2 it just looked like the perfect kind of shape for doing it we will see yeah so far so far this uh this brush here seems perfect cream contour because you can get that kind of edge there that you want so I had a chat with the uh, doctor yesterday and I think it was my best conversation with the doctors so far he's actually one that's come out of retirement to to help out and he was absolutely fantastic as of today he's replaced my zapping with tramadol so uh, fingers crossed so I just need the pain to be gone enough for me to be able to move around a bit and lose some weight because at the moment Sometimes just standing from sitting down, I just can't do it. My knees just, they, they hurt way too much. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. This is the first time in months I've had real hope. So hopefully I am not setting myself up for disappointment. But we shall see. So yeah, that's definitely something that I'm excited about. It's going to be so good when I can finally move around without any pain. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. So for blush, it's the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the shade Drama Class. And she looks like this. There we go. Like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my best news from this week oh, I love a cream blush oh and I do have a very exciting collab coming up um, this coming week so do keep your eyes peeled it is a very exciting one so you always forget with cream blush you have to add that little bit more because it kind of gets lost a bit under the powder I do really enjoy these uh, Fenty Cheeks Out cream blushes. 
Um, another favourite is the Makeup by Lisa Lip and Cheek Balms. Alright, have we gone dramatic enough? It is called drama after all. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a see. Yeah, I think we're dramatic enough. So if powder I'm obviously using the uh, the same one that I set under my eyes with, the Nabla Close-Up Baking and Setting Powder. Just going to set the rest of my face. I don't use much at all anymore um, since my skin started changing. Until recently my skin was so oily that I couldn't not powder down. But now I just don't use much because I find that it looks a lot nicer with less powder and a lot more natural. So I did my eyebrows off camera just because they take ages and I think it's a pretty boring step. And so for powder contour, I have the Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder in Light Medium. You can see that. So the weather here this past week has just been bizarre. I'm sure England's like the only country in the world where you can get all four seasons just in one week. So we've had one day where it was really nice sunshine, like enough to get a tan. Or enough that I was sat in my garden. Um, and then yeah, the following day we had snow. Not heavy snow unfortunately <laughs> if it's gonna snow it might as well snow properly but no we don't get that we just get the few flakes and the cold but yeah it's uh really bizarre how how it works <laughs> so i think everybody got excited with uh just the the couple of days of sunshine just thinking it was going to be like the start of the warmth but then today, looking outside, it looks really nice. I haven't actually been outside. Um, so unless it's in my garden. We have a table and chairs literally just outside the back door. So uh, it's very easy for me to just get there and sit down. I wouldn't say I was particularly a summer or a winter girl. I like it that kind of in between which would more than likely be most people's spring, where it's warm enough to be outside and maybe catch a slight tan, but not too hot. I really struggle in the heat. Hair going in my eye. So yeah, I would, I would like it to be like what spring's supposed to be, kind of all the time. But then saying that, I really love autumn. I love autumn. I love to see when the, the leaves change colour and fall and go for nice walks through the forest. I just think it's so beautiful. I'd say spring and autumn are probably my two favourite months. It's not too cold, not too hot. And uh, yeah, you got the, in spring, the spring flowers coming out. And in autumn, the leaves changing colour and falling. So what's your favourite season? Do you have one? And for bronzer, I'm going in with my Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. This is just pretty much a favourite now. So yeah, fingers crossed, this weekend I will have this area sorted out so that I can move the setup around. I say I, my boyfriend, <laughs> can move the setup around so that I actually have a nice background. And I've been saying it for a while, it's just, uh, it's quite a, a job, especially for me where I can't do much. <laughs> I'm so weak. It's kind of pathetic because I've always been like really independent, um, I can do it myself kind of person. 
Um, but at the moment, I can't even get out of the bath myself and I can't wash my own hair, so... I'm making my peace with the fact that, for now... For now, I am not an independent person. <laughs> but, hey-ho. Right, I do have a new eye primer to try. It is the AOA Studio Shimmer Glow Base Eye Primer. Um, this was very kindly given to me by Nikki Raven. We did like a foundation swap and she chucked in a couple of goodies and this was one of them. So I'm very excited to try it. So I do like me some glow. Oh wow, I think I definitely got too much out of the tube there, but let's have a look. <laughs> So I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but we will see. So yes, let's make a start. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, this is like liquid highlighter for the eyes. Wow. Please excuse Mr. Fluff, he's trying to wake my daughter up because uh, he thinks he's starving. So, uh, yes, if you can hear him meowing away outside the door, that's what it is. Wow. This is like Shimmer City. Well, I'm definitely not going to look matte and flat today, am I? <laughs> Can you see how shimmery that is? So yeah, I believe Nikki has this. But I don't think she's tried it yet. I would be very interested to, uh, to hear what she thinks of it. So Nikki, if you're watching, have you tried this yet? And if you have, what do you think? So yeah, this is... Uh, this is very different. Let's see how it fares with eyeshadow on the top. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is another new to me eyeshadow palette. It's the Juvia's Place, the Nubian Royal. And she looks, oh, she looks like this. These shades don't have any names, which uh, I find quite sad because I like it when they do. So the first color I'm going in with is this purple down in the corner and my eyes are, are definitely a shimmering so i'm just going to take this so i know i love juvia's place formula so uh if it doesn't look nice i know it's down to the primer yeah i can't work out it seems to be gripping quite a lot actually this primer i didn't think it felt very tacky but it's definitely gripping the shadow. Yeah, Mr. Fluff goes again, thinking he's starved. Poor, poor cat. I do really like this colour. And uh, I think I picked the right top today. I did pick out this top bearing in mind what eyeshadow palette I was going to use. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he's off again. Poor starved kitty. I'm joking, he's definitely not starved, anything but. He just likes to think he is. Or likes to try and make us believe he is so that he can get more food. And I'm still not sure at all on the primer. I'm not sure. The eyeshadow seems to be going on really nicely over it. It's just the shimmer. I'm not sure. I like. I think this might be a primer for with certain looks. But we shall see. We're still going. So. Oh. 
and then quickly to blend that out I'm going to be going in with this purple here the bottom middle shade and just using that to blend over the edges Let's see how well this meshes with that shimmer I do have to admit the eyeshadows do seem to be going on really nicely over the primer looking good so just building up the first purple a little bit more just so we don't lose it to that lighter one I'm not used to them not having names Having said that though, I'm forever butchering the names in the Juvia's Place palettes, so it's probably a good thing that it hasn't got names because I can't butcher them then, can I? And then just using the last matte that's in here, the deeper purple one. And I just want that on the, just the outer V and into the lower part of the crease whilst it looks like it's more of a buildable formula the way I'm doing it I'm using this tiny little open fluffy brush um, and taking just the tiniest bit at a time because I have found of recently that it works nicer for blending so I'm happy to stick with it. It might take that little bit longer, but it's so worth it. Well, how is, uh, how's your weekend going? I don't think we've got particularly anything planned apart from trying to get my, uh, my setup moved around. Well, having said that, my boyfriend's in the shed at the moment trying to salvage what is possible from the rats <laughs> that have decided that our boxes of stuff are uh, better used as their bedding. Yeah. There you go. Just hoping that my uh, photo albums are salvageable. The rest is just things, just things that can be uh, replaced. So back in with the middle purple. And then back in a little bit with the deeper purple. Yep, I am liking the top of that, so just going in with a bit of the darkest purple and just stamping that against my, oh, tap off the brush first, stamping that against my lower lash line just to connect the upper and lower lids and I'm just going to Go in with the middle purple just to against that. And just taking a slightly fluffier one, just going in with the lightest purple. Going to blend out the edges. So for the lid, I'm firstly going to go in with the top middle shade, that shimmer there, and I'm going to spray my brush. I've been trialing this out instead of the um, instead of the NYX glitter primer, just to see what a difference it makes. So this one I'm just using on the outer section here 
I always bring mine at a bit of a diagonal. That's just purely because I think that's what suits my eye shape. Oh, it's just come to me. The film that we were watching last night um, is where aliens have come to Earth in pods. And uh, this woman, like language expert, actually learns their language. And uh, I, can't, I still can't remember what it's called, though. But if I can find out before in time for when I edit then uh, I will pop it in the description box that is so pretty so for the inner part of my lid I'm going in with this shimmer here and again spraying my brush Uh, this oh that's a lovely purple I think this is a really nice little curated palette like nice little monochromatic one Now that looks really pretty, but if you know me at all, you will know that I am just as excited about the glitter that's in here. So I'm going to use my finger. I've not used, um, I've not tried any glitters from Juvia's places yet. So this is a first. So let's see. How oh, well she goes on. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. It's not a heavy glitter at all. Oh, I like this. See, I'm actually really impressed with this glitter it's really nice so I do have a pigment at least pigment that I want to try today it's from peaches and cream a UK indie brand and it's called mermaids I love these boxes that they come in so I'm keeping them in their boxes because oh because I want to I haven't <laughs> the only one of my peaches and cream pigments that I've tried so far has been Super Freak, which is an amazing kind of acid yellow. Stunning. So I just spray my brush and just dip into a little bit there. And ooh, I did have a feeling this was going to go. And I wasn't wrong. Look at that. I am so impressed with these pigments from Peaches and Cream. Really, really impressed. My super freak one, oh, that is just the most amazing colour. It just looked so good. Oh, this is, I'm just taking it onto the very inner part of my lid just to kind of blend it in a bit. Oh my word, this is stunning. I've been sleeping on uh, Peaches and Cream, I think. So I've got their contour powder, which I've been loving. And that Super Freak pigment is just... If you like kind of acidy yellows, um, toxic yellows i don't really know how else to describe it it's just it's like neon-y but oh it's beautiful i can't even remember in what look i used it in i'm so sorry 
I am not with it at all at the moment. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so I highly, highly recommend these pigments. Oh my word. I have still got, I got three more, three more to try. Oh, I just can't stop adding more of this. It's that pretty. So I'm going for the extreme over the top today and that's cool. Do I want to put the tiniest bit of that as my brow bone highlight? I think I do. Yes. Yes. That was a wise choice. This is beautiful. Peaches and cream, loose pigment in my maze. And yeah, like I said, the boxes that all of these come in are just the cutest. Do you actually see the pink one? I won't give too much away. That is looking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. So I'm going to nip off and finish my eyes and then I will come back to continue with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so eyes finished. I'll just let you know what I used. So I used the Altitude Cosmetics Cake It Liner in Devotion and the Island Play Tropic Fruit Aqualiner in Kimmet. In my waterline, I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank. The mascara is the Madage Beauty Madeja Lash Mascara. Not really a surprise there. And uh, finally, the lashes I have on are from Artitude Cosmetics and they are in the style Artitude. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Pout and Shout Candy Floss Clouds. This was very kindly gifted to me and this is what she looks like. I've been so, so excited to try this one because as you all may well know, my favourite blushes are from Pout and Shout. So let's see. Ooh. Another really nice one. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. If you are a blusher person, then I can highly, highly recommend these blushes because they are always amazing. I have, I have a few now. Let's just uh, say that. I also have a few of the um, highlighters. I'm taking a little bit at a time because the Pout and Shout blushes are generally very pigmented. This is amaze balls so the other great thing about pout and shout is if you are after a specific shade of blusher or highlighter if you contact her if she can if it's something that she can accommodate she definitely will because she is just so lovely and so with that said we're moving on to highlighter and again it is pout and shout this is the happy glow lucky highlighter in the shade lucky dice I thought we'd stick with the purpley theme. Look at that. The highlighters are amazing as well. I love the highlighters. And I have another one on the way. And just quickly buff over with the uh, blusher brush just to make sure they are blended together. Beautiful. So for lippy, I'm going to be going in with the Wee Makeup Ever Liquid Lipstick in shade 10. I really do need to look up what the colour name is 
because it's not on here. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm really happy with how it came out in the end. I did have to clean up my liner um, quite a bit because uh, I kind of went a little bit OTT, but I'm happy with how it's looking now. So yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comment section below, or if you're here for the premiere, let me know in the chat box what you think of this. Again, I have had so much fun. I absolutely love my Saturday Karma Chameleons. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this too. If you have, then please hit the like button, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, then hi, I'm Steph. I hope you'll consider sticking around. I am a huge fan of all things makeup, especially colourful, as you can probably tell. And I am a massive supporter of indie brands. I just think that they deserve so much love because nine times out of 10, it is one single person or a couple of people running the brand and putting their whole heart and soul into it. And I love that. So yes, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So if you are here with me in the comments section, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sure we've had a great chat. And if you are watching this at a later date or time, then thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. So hopefully I will see you next Saturday for another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. But until then, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.